everybody rich down here in the bunker with prep you yes count your shots count your shots to survive give count your shots to give yourself a little bit more chance uh to survive protect your others that are with you and stuff like that what do i mean by count your shots what i mean by count your shots i see it all the time in the range people will pop their magazine in there and they'll shoot and they'll shoot and they'll shoot and they'll shoot slide will lock back and they'll still try to shoot then count the shots you should know how many rounds are in your magazine if you're concealed carry you should know that how many how many are in your rounds plus one in the chamber if you carry one in the chamber if you don't carry one in the chamber you're crazy um count your shots count your shots you're going yeah but rich in that concealed carry situation where things are going nuts and stuff like that am i going to remember to count my shots yeah you will if you train to count your shots if every time you go to the range it's one two three four five six seven eight drop my mag another one in or what if it's 10 or what if it's 12 or what if it's 15. count your shots your brain likes repetitiveness okay it likes redundancy over and over and over again that's how you learn things think back to school well not school today but school when i went to school you learned the alphabet over and over and over and over again you learned addition over and over and over and over again when you got it then you went to subtraction over and over and over and over again then multiplication over and over and over and over again division over and over and over again my dad could do anything mathematically in his head it didn't matter because he first of all he probably had that very analytical brain all right he was a police officer he taught me how to shoot he taught me know how many rounds you have no constantly train 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 so your brain without even counting going you better get ready to change your magazine real quick because you're almost out of rounds if you train to know how many rounds you have left in your firearm and you constantly do that in a situation your brain's just going to go one two three four five six seven eight change okay and you may want to go one two three four five i want to change now because i want a full mag in case this guy comes back or these guys come back all right I know what you're saying to me right now rich are you going to dump that many rounds into somebody i'm going to dump as many rounds into somebody that I need to stop that person. My intent is not to kill. My intent is to stop that person from hurting me or hurting somebody else. Once you get that in your brain, how many rounds you have, then you can play a real fun game. Well, you can play this game anytime at the range. You can, when you're at home, and we've talked about this in other videos, load your magazines at home, especially if you're paying for time on the range and you're not a member and it doesn't matter how much time you use. You get all your magazines and you load them differently. You put four in one, five in another, eight, you know, back and forth and stuff like that. And you mix it up in the bag and you don't look at them when you set them out. Cause obviously you can see how many rounds are in your magazine. Um, I can't without my glasses, but anyhow. Um, and that's a great way to, your brain will start kicking in how many rounds, but it will also throw your brain off going, oh crap. Or put a snap cap in there every once in a while. If you go shooting with somebody, you don't load your mag. Let the other guy load the mag. All right? So we really kind of talked about two different things. How to um, learn how many rounds you have in your magazine so your brain knows it in a, in a tough situation. We've also talked about how to work with... Um, when your a round doesn't go off... How to get rid of that round and go to the next the snap cap thing um it's just a fun fun way to play with your your friend uh it also gets you to learn what if you have a malfunction but anyhow the key to this one i know i went way off on on the 
tangent on this one, but it's very important to count your rounds. Okay. Know how many rounds you have. Do it over and over and over and over again. For one, you don't look like an idiot at the range because I sit there and I see it all the time going, slide lock back. Why is he still trying to shoot? Or why is she still trying to shoot? I don't know. You should know. You should feel that. You also want to learn how that the sound and the feel of that slide locking back. Because once your brain notices it, you'll notice it every time. So please learn to count your rounds. Do it every time. And you will thank me for it in a situation down the road. How many, how many times of doing it does it take for your brain to, to kick in? I don't know. They say 2,500 times. Repetitiveness 2,500 times and your brain goes, oh. I think it happens a lot quicker than that in a lot of things, especially if it's something important. And this is important. So that's it for t this uh, Saturday's uh, range tip of the week. Count your rounds to survive. And like we always say when we leave the video, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a subscriber. Always be aware of your surroundings. Have plenty of food, water, medicine, and ammunition to shelter in place or to bug out if you have to. And please, prep like your life depends on it, because it does. Thanks a lot. Sorry about all the tangents on this one, but they're all really important facts. Take care. See you next time.